We're here with Coach Reese, uh, excited with his new promotion to offensive coordinator. We wanted to visit with him for a little while. Coach, could you tell us kind of your vision in general terms of what the offense is going to look like under your leadership? Yeah, I think, you know, first of all, thanks for having me on here. Um, the first thing that we want to build offensively is just a great deal of, of trust between the coaches and the players. and. Um, you know, I think getting everybody on the same page and moving in the, in the same direction is important. So one thing we've done a lot of is, is group meetings, getting the whole offense together, group installs, so that everyone's hearing it from one consistent voice. Um, it's not always mine, but each of our position coaches has the opportunity to get in front of the team and, and make sure that the offense is moving in the same direction. With you taking on your first role as a coordinator here, do you feel like you're at an advantage uh, knowing our our personnel, having been here for three years now and, and, and knowing these guys and what their strengths and weaknesses are? Yeah, and one thing that we've talked a lot about is we want to make sure that we're putting our players in a position to be successful. We're never going to ask them to do things that they're not already able to do. Um, so when we talk about our offensive identity, we really talk about building it around what our players do well. And then us as coaches, it's our job to develop those areas that need to be improved. So if we need to make somebody a more complete player, we're going to develop that and, and that's our goal. In the meantime, we're gonna find out the things that he does well and make sure that we put him in the position to do those. We're not gonna to try to ask guys to do things that they're not capable of, but we're also gonna develop those areas to, to build more complete football players. And how are you feeling about taking on this challenge here at your alma mater? I mean, it, it, I'm sure some parts of it are great. Other parts of it are, is a big stage now. It's funny because, you know, for this thing to go well, um, it would be exceptional, right? I mean, to do this at your alma mater and, and to have, um, to be able to give back to the place that's given me so much is as rewarding as it can get. It's also a high risk though, because if things don't go well, you know, you're probably not welcome back on campus. So <laughs> you got to make sure that um, you're putting your best foot forward all the time. And there's really nowhere else where I'd want to take on this challenge and take on this job. And um, it's something that I put a great amount of pride in and something that I'm going to work really hard towards. And um, giving back to this place means a lot to me, and I want to make sure that it's somewhere that I'm always able to come back to. Well, we appreciate your time. Obviously, our staff is very excited about what you and the rest of the offensive staff are putting together. And now, in the meantime, we just got to keep washing our hands and, and get yeah. everybody back here healthy at some point. Well, I appreciate you having me on, and I also appreciate all the help you've given me over the last three years, really, as a guiding uh, leader and somebody that's been a great asset to me and, and someone I've looked up to and, and really have valued all your guidance and, and, and words of, of encouragement and help through the times. But this is an exciting time for this program. It's exciting for this offense. Uh, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to drink fluids and uh, we're going to attack this thing as a group. So we're excited about the future. All right. Appreciate you, man. Go Irish. All right, brother. I'll talk to you.